if you like the winter wonderland you would like what we woke up to this morning i call michigan beautiful shades of gray in the winter but it's very depressing and it gets old really quick however i'm excited for two reasons number one i got to use my brand new snowblower this morning and clear the driveway i've never used a snowblower before so that was super exciting number two I'm flying down to St. Petersburg, Florida tomorrow to go spend some time sailing in a J70. That is going to be awesome. Good morning from the St. Pete Sailing Center. I made it to Florida. It's sunny and it's a heck of a lot warmer and it's not snowing. Behind me got a J70 and this is what we're going to be uh, playing on for the next couple days. So looking forward to the sunshine. The weather is just gonna get better as the week progresses. And we're supposed to have five to eight knots of wind today. So it should be a beautiful, sunny, fun day. As you can see, the J70s we're sailing don't have motors on them. So after getting the boats rigged, we each took a couple turns at the helm sailing on and off the dock. You could be an excellent sailor, but if you don't have the skills to sail on and off the dock, you're not much help to your crew. So once we were done practicing that, we finally headed out to beautiful Tampa Bay for some sailing. As you can see in the background, the St. Pete Boat Show was going on the same time we were there. And they had to install extra floating docks for all the boats that came in for the show. That didn't leave a lot of room for us sailing. And again, keep in mind, we don't have a motor. We're solely at the mercy of the wind. Morning. Day two from St. Pete Sailing Center. Uh, weather here is incredible. I know uh, in a previous video um, I may have poked a little fun at Southern Sailors. I just want to say to all the folks down uh, island hopping and down in Florida, uh, eat your heart out. This is fall Michigan sailing. We're all bundled up. We're kind of the real sailors here, even though we don't deal with salt water and tide, and there's nothing in the water that will eat us. Uh, but there's definitely something to be said for sailing down here. The weather is incredible. Uh, don't have to bundle up like we do up north. And, you know, sailing in salt water, yesterday we were having dolphins come up and surface right next to the boat, checking us out. I mean, you could literally reach over and, and pet them. They were, they were that close. Uh, you definitely don't get that in fresh water. So. so on our second day of sailing in Tampa Bay, the coaches set up a box that was probably no bigger than 200 meters by 400 meters squared. When you think about it, that's a large box. But then add five 20-foot sailboats in that box. You're not allowed to go outside the box. This is an amazing exercise for close quarters sailing, quick maneuvering, and of course, always knowing who has the right of way. As you can see through the video, some of these boats get really close to touching us. I don't know how our coaches don't get nervous. Maybe they do. They just do an excellent job of hiding it. I thought you said too many things. That's why Sandy was coming at us. Now, what jack are we on? Good morning, day three from St. Petersburg. Uh, having an absolute wonderful time at the St. Petersburg Sailing Center. You see all the boats behind me. Uh, not much wind so far this morning, but hopefully it'll pick up a little bit as the day progresses. I'm um, having an absolute blast learning all about the J70 and its capabilities. Again, been thinking about my comments that I made about uh, Southern Sailors 
and uh, I'm hooked, I'm sold, I'm ready to move to Florida. This is awesome. It's December, I'm wearing shorts, and uh, this probably couldn't get any better. Have an absolute blast with the Warrior Sailing Program, and uh, all the warriors and the coaches, and uh, the boats that they let us play on. So, an absolute blessing, and what an amazing experience. By day three, we were all very confident in each of the positions on the boat. And you could feel the confidence the coach had in us. His instructions got fewer and fewer, and his sense of urgency in his voice had all but gone away. So as we were prepared for a poker run race on the third day, we took our time sailing out of the St. Pete Sailing Center, just enjoying the sunshine and the breeze and the camaraderie that we have built over the last three days. And then, we were gonna go kick some ass. So with our poker run strategy in place, we hit the start line at just about full speed. All our training we had done throughout the week came down to this. So enjoy the sail as we have some close quarters with uh, other boats and rounding some buoys and grabbing some poker cards. Unfortunately, it all comes down to the winning hand, not the first boat that crosses the line. But spoiler alert, we weren't either. But we had a hell of a sale. Once the poker run was over, we still had a few hours till we had to be in. It was a beautiful sunny day, a nice breeze, so we reset our spinnaker, put St. Petersburg behind us, and just sailed. Reflecting on the friendships we had made and the healing that had taken place. send a special thank you to the St. Petersburg Sailing Center. They are incredibly generous and kind for opening up their amazing facility to us so we can come down here, learn how to sail, use their boats, and uh, they just absolutely open up their facility and, to us so we can have an amazing experience and the coaches don't have to worry about boats, moving things around, hauling stuff in. So again, a special thank you to the St. Petersburg Sailing Center. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to follow Team Julie Dan, subscribe and hit that notification link down below. And then you'll get notified every time we post a new video. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a warm, safe, wonderful day. So this morning, we woke up to all this snow. <laughs>